Hello everyone, it's Jose Rapon here and today we're going to be looking at my Talladega predictions. So what sucks about these restricted play tracks is that you have to make bold predictions. And that's what I'm going to do today. So we're going to look at my Talladega predictions today. <coughs> so let's get started. On the poll, I predict Danny Hamlin to bring his fifth poll of the season. Fourth, rather. Danny Hamlin has been very, um, has been very unsuccessful this season. He's won a few polls, but he's never executed the good results. I don't know if Talladega's going to be the day, but I certainly don't think so in mine. Danny Hamlin, I think, is going to start on pole, though, because... He has started on he's never he hasn't started on pole on ta at Talladega, but I think he's he's he le he leads a lap a lot on these restricted play tracks at least one lap every race on these restricted play tracks. He does it most if not every time. So I think he's gonna lead the, like the first few laps and yeah, we'll see how it goes for there. Kevin Harvick second. He finished third in the spring race. Chase Elliott third. He finished fourth in the spring race, I believe. Brad Keselowski fourth. He is a five-time winner at Talladega. Um, probably the leading in the active drivers have uh, most strict plate wins and most Talladega wins. Right behind him is, um, I don't know, I think it's Joe Logano with three wins. And Ragnarowski is more competitive to do better in the fall race than in the spring race. So we'll see how this goes. goes. So Kurt Busch, fifth. She finished runner-up last year. Has never won in Talladega. Only has won once in Daytona. Had a restricted play track. Ricky Stenhouse, on the other hand, was the king of restricted play track last year. He had two wins. And then the other two, he ended up in Rex. And I was like, honestly, but, um, yeah. He was pretty good at the restricted play tracks this year. He's shown that a bit this year, too. Despite crashing out a lot of, um, the both Daytona races. But, um, it, yeah, he finished fourth in the Talladega Spring. Or, no, fifth, I think, in Talladega Spring. And, and, um, he won in Talladega Spring last year in 2017. I'm not sure how he's going to do in the fall, but we'll have to see. Ryan Blaney, a really good restricted play racer, has a lot of help from his teammates Keselowski and Logano, and now Paul Menard as well. Trevor Bain, say eighth. He's pretty decent at qualifying at Talladega, probably like in the top ten, somewhere like that. I actually forgot to check if it's Trevor Bain driving or Matt Kenseth. I think it's Trevor Bain, though. Truex Jr., his probably worst track. Best finish, 5th. Jimmy Johnson starts 10th. He is a 2 or 3 time winner here at Talladega. So Brad Keselowski is going to win Stage 1. Followed by his teammates Ryan Blaney, Joel Logano. Logano is a 3 time winner here. Always there to help his teammates. Get to the front, so you can see a bunch of kids last year playing look on over at the front, maybe. Stenhouse Jr., fourth. Kurt Busch, fifth. Harvick, sixth. Paul Menard, he won stage two at Talladega in the spring. Unfortunately, crashed out. Well, last year he didn't crash out in probably the most cautioniest Talladega race. He didn't crash out of that one, so... He's been pretty good. And now with T he's with the Wood Brothers. Try to build up that team. So we'll see how this goes. The 78 of Truex Jr. Up in 8th. Good day for Truex Jr. Danny Hamlin falls all the way back to the 10th. To tenth. And Clint Boyer is a two-time winner at Talladega. Not that much else to say there. Um, Joel Logano wins stage 2. Followed by Ryan Blaine, Brad Keselowski, Ricky Stead. House, Paul Menard, Kevin Harvick, six fours up front. 
Chase Elliott has a good amount of top fives, a few pulls here in Talladega, youngest pull winner in Talladega, winning it in 2016, I believe. 2016 spring, maybe 2017 spring. But yeah, he has had some pretty good results in Talladega. Club Boyer, Truex Jr., Kurt Busch. Then in the final, at the end of the race, I predict Brad Keselowski to be the winner. Kevin Harvick second. Because no derp Kevin Harvick's going to get a good finish unless if something that isn't his fault. Let's be honest, he hasn't really crashed out of something that wasn't his fault. Okay, Daytona, first, the first Daytona was just Brad Keselowski, Chase Elliott, shenanigans. And then the second race was Bubba Wallace, who's running into the back of Clint Boyer. And Kevin Harvick, unfortunately, gets caught up in it. And then, Charlotte is a mechanical issue, tire failure. And then it's, um, oh wait, I think Auto Club was his fault, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, so Ricky Stenhouse Jr. third. I'm not sure about Stenhouse Jr. finishing, but, oh well. Chase Elliott fourth. Ryan Newman, that's an interesting one, because Ryan Newman is one of those drivers who just sits at the back of the field for like the entire race and then comes up towards the end. So, you know, he finished runner up here in last year in Talladega in 2017. Kyle Larson sixth. I don't know, I just had to throw in another driver so I just threw in Kyle Larson. It was either him or Austin Dillon, so I thought that Kyle Larson probably had a better chance. Clint Boyer Alex Bowman and David Reagan. I think those guys are just going to be kind of, you know, the hanging, or like the, he, they're probably going to be kind of like the, the David Reagan kind of like of last, of, um, Talladega race, um, this spring or something like the David Reagan. He doesn't, they don't score any stage points this time, but they're just there. They work their way into the top ten, and that's their result. Eighth and ninth. Tenth place, Paul Menar. Gonna fall back a bit. Probably gonna be involved in the wreck. That's what I think. The rest of them probably involved in the wreck. So the point standings. Kevin Harvick, with one win, locked into the playoffs. Brad Keselowski, one win, locked into the playoffs. Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Larson, Clint Boyer, Joe Logano are the cars to beat. Ryan Blaney moves all the way up to ninth. Eric Jones, tenth. Kurt Busch, eleventh. And Danny Hamlin, 12. Alex Bowman moves up two positions, passing Bob Walls and Jamie McMurray. There's probably no position changes back here, even though lots of them scored points like David Reagan, Ricky Stenhouse, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard. So, you know. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy. And let me know what you're. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video. Answer in the comment section below. Would you? What? Well, rather. Oh, what are you? What are your predictions for this Talladega race? Because this gun probably gonna be wild. And also make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. And make sure to share this video with your family and friends. Thank you all very much for watching, and have a good day, everyone.